Okay, in this short video, we're going to talk about something called a discriminant. Now, you remember, in a previous video, we talked about parabolas, or quadratics, that cross the x-axis once, twice, or not at all. Okay, let me just do a quick sketch on these. And I won't be able to do all of them, obviously, but you get the idea. So, here's where my parabola crosses the x-axis one time. Okay, so the vertex essentially is on the x-axis. I can also have a parabola where the parabola crosses the x-axis twice. All right, so that means that there are two roots. Here's there's one root. Another way to say root, again, is a solution. Or, and these are two solutions. Or, the third possibility is this, where my parabola does not cross at all. Does that mean, therefore, are there any solutions? Let me just put that in as question mark. The answer is yes. There are solutions, but they are not real numbered solutions. So let's make a distinction between a real number root and in this case you're going to have two roots but the roots are imaginary numbers okay so the answer is to this question yes there are but they are imaginary numbers. And we can talk about imaginary numbers in a separate video, okay? But for right now, I just want to be able to show this. Now, is there an easy way to figure out whether you're going to have a quadratic that's going to cross the x-axis or not? And there is. And it's using something called the discriminant. And the discriminant is this set, this formula right here. b squared minus 4ac Okay, let me go ahead and show you what that means. So again, the discriminant, let me just rewrite this. Is b squared minus 4ac. Now, when b squared minus 4ac for any standard form of a quadratic, remember, quadratic term, linear term, and constant, when it is greater than zero, you're going to have two real roots. When b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero, you're going to have one real root. And when b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, you're going to have two imaginary numbered roots. Numbers four roots. Now I'm going to give you uh, a couple of problems, and I want to, I want you to figure them out, and we will uh, I will link a answer sheet to this. But here are th um, here are two quadratic formulas, or quadratic equations, rather, and I want you to tell me whether these will be, they'll have one real root, two real roots, or two imaginary number roots, okay? So 3x squared minus 3x plus 5 equals 0, and then x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 0. Okay? Go ahead and try those, and then um, I will link an answer sheet to this, and you'll be able to see whether you did it correctly. Okay? Good luck.